You cannot help God with your tents. All right. Yeah, y'all need to write that down. If you don't buy the video, you need to write it down. You cannot help God with your test. Abraham and Sarah. The Lord said to Sarah, you're going to have a child. And she said, oh, I can't believe it. Because I'm old. And it can't happen. And the Lord said, I said, you're going to have a child. Okay, Lord, I don't want you to be, you know, you said it. And I don't want the people to think that you are lying. So I'm going to help you with my test. Now, what did she do? She went and got the slave and gave the slave to Abraham and said, well, maybe this is God's will. That is not what God said. He did not say your slave is going to give you a child. Sarah, you're going to have a child. You cannot help God with your test. When he says something to you, you better prepare yourself. My God, my God. Second, don't look for a way out of the tears. You can't look for a way out. Because see, when you look for a way out, that means you're going to flunk. That's all it is to it. You flunk the test. If you try to find a way out. But when you don't look for a way out, things go the way God planned. Moses was walking to in the wilderness and saw this bush burning. And the Bible says that when he saw the bush burning, the first time he just said, oh, a bush. And it's burning. No big deal. The Bible says that he went on up to the mountain and with the sheep. And he came back down. The bush is still burning. I'm going to stop now and take note to what's going on with the bush. Because see, if I am not trying to get myself out, driving and it started raining and my husband said to me I know you don't like to drive in the rain so pull over and I'll drive yeah. and I said okay <laughs> just give me a minute and I'm going to give you the wheel I drove up to get out of the rain and when I got ready to stop the rain just began to fall in sheets mm. and I couldn't see the windshield Outside of it, the rain was just falling. And I said to him, I tell you what, when I get to the next overpass, I'm going to pull under the overpass and I'm going to let you drive. Every overpass I got to, there was somebody there. <laughs> I even thought about, well, if I just park it and climb over in the back seat, and let him climb over into the seat. And as I was thinking this, the voice of the Lord spoke to me. 
me and said, don't stop. Lord, listen. Now, you talking to Gail. You know I'm afraid of the storm. You know I don't know how to handle the rain. You know I, I, just, I have fear. I and my knees are knocking. And the Lord said, I said, don't stop. Well, let me see now. Okay. And the further I drove, the rain got harder. And I kept saying, Lord, I want to pull over. And the Lord, and I kept hearing this voice say, don't stop. And I said to my husband, he said, why are you up pulled over? I said, I can't. I'm crying. I can't. I can't pull over. He said, you can just pull over. I can't. I can't. I can't. Why can't you? The Lord said, don't stop. Finally, I said to the Lord, Lord, why can't I stop? He said, if you stop now, you'll never get out of the rain. If you just keep driving, you're going to drive out of it. But if you stop here, you're not going to come out of it when you want to come out of it. Yes. 